Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Faith is the belief in things greater than ourselves that set for us a purpose, direction and way. And it is because of our commitment to this purpose, direction and way that we are willing to do things that can be extraordinary, challenging and sacrificial. In our context, we speak of faith as Iman, belief in the Al-Ghaib or unseen, from which we draw strength and a strong sense of purpose to worship God and to act and behave in ways that God prescribes. It is also faith that helps us remain steadfast on a path that we have committed ourselves to when things do not go our way, or as they say, when going gets really tough, when we are tested. Do mankind think we will let them say they believe or they have faith when they have not been tested? Faith, therefore, is not isolated from our social realities. In both good and bad times, faith plays a very important role in our religious lives. It guides us on a moderate and balanced response, not to get too carried away with happy moments and not to sink and drown under the weight of challenges. We have rarely seen a test of such enormous scale for all of humanity in our living memory. I am sure my faith is tested right now and right to its limit. Do I remain steadfast on God's path? Do I waver and begin to have doubts? Do I surrender? I do not know where the test will bring me. How much more can I bear? And how much further could I go in this test? But faith, as we are taught, is in the Al-Ghaib, the unseen. There is a powerful element of unknowability, even as we believe. It is about accepting this unknowability, whilst not losing faith in God, that He will continue to gift us His wisdom and mercy, and in not losing faith in ourselves as those who are capable to deal with challenges, come what may. That, to me, is the value of faith.